Are the Jews trying to ban the New Testament? Oh, no. Um, <clears throat> this is the tricky thing when you deal with this issue of the Jews, because the word Jew is definitely misused. Uh, there are a lot of people that claim to be Jews, and they're not. There are people that convert can convert to Judaism and call themselves Jews, I guess, or something. And, and so uh, it's a tricky situation. But the answer is that uh, this whole thing that's going on right now with this bill being passed to protect the Jewish people against anti-Semitic type of stuff, and it's been passed through the House, and now it's going on to uh, Charles or Chucky e. Schumer or whatever, uh, that wicked devil, um, <clears throat> and then it has to be signed into law by uh, Biden. And it would get basically, if you haven't heard about this, I did look into it. One of you let me know in the comments. Thank you for that. But uh, it would basically go against anything that would be an open condemnation of the Jewish people because of all this, you know, uh, pro-Palestine stuff, kick the Jews out and, you know, they shouldn't be doing what they're doing in Gaza and whatever. And for the record, I have stated that the Bible plainly says in the New Testament, in the New Testament, that the, uh, that the uh, descendants of the bondwoman, basically the son of the bondwoman, should be cast out uh, of land there. So uh, the New Testament actually defends what is going on in Israel right now. Uh, whether you believe that or not, I don't really care. It's, it's what the New Testament says. It's part of Bible prophecy that the Jews would come back to the land and inhabit the land again, the land of Israel. And I realize that they're not all Jews over there, as I said earlier. But there are Jewish people there um, that are real and that do have an ancestral claim to that land and a scriptural claim to that land. So I do stand with that. All right. Um, <clears throat> very complicated issue. So to say that the New Testament is somehow anti-Semitic, well, the New Testament says that the Jews um, are sinners and that they've rejected Jesus Christ and the wrath of God has come upon them as a result of that. They both killed the Lord Jesus, you know, and, and uh, the prophets and things. Um, the Jews have done evil things, and the New Testament tells about that. Uh, but that does not make it an anti-Semitic book. I mean, it was written by Jews. See, again, see how complicated this thing of the Jews is. And uh, a lot of people try to say, well, the New Testament also teaches that the church has replaced Israel. No, it has not. We are born in with a spirit of adoption, but we have not replaced Israel. Replacement theology is wicked and foolish, and I have preached against it, multiple studies on it. Um, <clears throat> and so, again, I, I've been getting this thing with people where they write these... Uh, a lot of questions in the comments and I'm supposed to spend my time writing out some big comment answering each of their points. It doesn't work that way on YouTube, okay? I'm a content creator, not a commenter. Uh, people get into comment battles and that's fine. Um, it's a good way to learn some experience and have some experience with dealing with heretics out there. But I create content, that's what I'm doing right now. I do not have time to sit there and type out comments. I might do a real quick one or a little bit of one or something if somebody asks a really good legitimate question or if I see somebody that's just a total heretic and I just want to correct them in, from, with scripture, I'll do that. But I don't spend a huge amount of time in the comments. I can't. I have other things to do. I have a life to live. This is my land out here. Um, a property that I need to take care of. We're still not done with our firewood for the coming winter. Um, so, <clears throat> but this issue here of now they want to try to pass this thing where you can't say certain things and whatever, and people are saying, well, they're going to ban the New Testament. And, and of course, a lot of people are saying, oh, come on, that's ridiculous. It's, it's not true. They're not banning the New Testament. Just, you know, there'd be certain parts that you'd have to be careful about saying. Uh -huh. Sort of like the thing of them saying, um, you know, we're not, we're not banning... The, uh, we're not banning guns, we're not taking your guns away. Just assault rifles. AR-15s or something like this, which it still just cracks me up. AR-15s are good guns, little sporting rifles and whatever fun, you know, guns and things, but 
I don't view them as some ultra deadly weapon or something. I mean, there's a lot uh, better weapons if you're going to be really deadly about it or whatever. You get up into 7.62 by 51 caliber and I mean, there's guys here in America with semi-automatic uh, 50 caliber rifles, 50 BMGs, Barrett and, and things like that. You know, a lot more deadly than an AR-15. Yet the news media doesn't even talk about those guns. So it's just a, it's a scam, the whole thing, the anti-gun thing. But <clears throat> see how it would start out is they'd say, we're going to get rid of the AR-15s. And that's all, just assault rifles. Um, and then it would be, well, there's, you know, some sporting shotguns out there that are also semi-auto and they're dangerous. And, and there's handguns that are semi-auto and they're dangerous. And, and then it would, you know, they just keep going until they take away everything. So the whole point of the Second Amendment is you don't let them take away any gun. There are no guns that should be banned. No guns that should be restricted. You say, even fully automatics? I, I believe that you should have a fully automatic rifle, legally, if you want one. I don't have any, but uh, if you want to waste a lot of ammunition, go ahead and get one. Um, but you can legally own them here in America if you go through the right paperwork. That's how it should be. Okay, you say, what are you going off on guns for? Because it's a good analogy. The <clears throat> thing of the New Testament. Well, there are just certain verses, just a few verses that are anti-Semitic. The rest is okay. Um, no. And, uh, and as I said at the very beginning, it's not all Jews. There are Jews that have enough sense to say, you know, no, we don't care about the New Testament. We might, you know, we don't believe in it or whatever else, but hey, somebody wants to believe the New Testament, fine. They have that freedom, they have that right. No big deal. People call you names and whatever. So, what does that mean? Afraid to have people call you names and that's kind of an issue. But <clears throat> it's a very slippery slope when you start to ban speech. And this issue of hate speech is also another nonsense thing. It's not something that free people uh, mess with. I mean, in the past, where were hate speech laws? They weren't there. In the past, uh, the Jews, oh, were so offended by the New Testament. Why didn't they ban it in the past? See, uh, now all of a sudden we have to start banning everything that uh, offends somebody. You can't say uh, sodomite or something or or other names like that. Oh, that's offensive. That's that's uh, hurting people's feelings or diminishing their pride or whatever they want to say. Nonsense. Absolute, total nonsense. Um, what's going to happen? Well, if they're dumb enough to pass this thing, the uh, Satanists and things that are in the government right now, and they are Satanists. They're Luciferian. They, they get into Freemasonry, which is the worship of Lucifer. And um, you have to get into that stuff to get up into the higher positions of power. But these people that are in there, um, if they pass this whole thing and make it illegal to speak against the Jews, uh, it's not illegal to speak against Christians, and Christianity is a Jewish religion. Figure that out. Uh, we have a Jewish savior, or all the apostles were Jewish. Um, so... Oh, we have to worry about anti-Semitism. Why don't you worry about Christianity? Because that's a Semitic uh, religion. <laughs> but if they pass this thing, you're going to see a massive backlash. Um, it's already happening. Um, <clears throat> hey, Brother Brian, what are you going to do if they pass this thing? If it becomes illegal to uh, speak against the Jewish people? Oh, probably I'm going to preach even harder against them. We could be facing prison time or something like this for hate speech laws. Um, God will protect me. I don't have any doubt about that. Um, Christians have always been persecuted by the lost world, which tells you that uh, Christianity is the right one, the right religion. Real true Christianity, not Roman Catholicism. Oh, there I went and spoke a hate speech thing again. Ugh. Free people don't worry about what other people say. They really don't. Um, so that's my thought on the whole thing. Uh, I'm not worried at all about it. I think it's a stupid nonsense. 
um, you know, it's kind of like back to the gun issue here. They had this whole pistol brace band thing that happened. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, they were, I forget the numbers, but it was something people were supposed to turn in their pistol braces. This evil, you know, thing that you can strap it to your arm somehow or something is just so terrible. And um, <clears throat> they had to turn it in by a certain date or else the ATF would show up at their house. And uh, there were so many millions of these things and only a couple thousand people showed or turned them in or whatever. <laughs> so that's what will happen. Oh, we're going to ban the New Testament. Or you're not going to be allowed to say, you read the certain verses of talk that condemn the Jews. Well, here's a, here's a real revelation for you there, brainiac out there. All you politically correct brainiacs. The Bible condemns everyone. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God, not just the Jews. Um, that's what the whole purpose of Jesus came, coming and dying on the cross was about. He came to die for our sins. And the Jews are sinners exceedingly before the Lord. All the, all the different things that they're involved in, uh, they need to be rebuked. They need to be kicked hard. So, that, those are my thoughts on that. And I, I want to kick one other thing while I'm at it here. I like to uh, walk along and kick things uh, as I'm out for my morning walk this morning. Um, but uh, this other thing of I see these people saying it, and I probably have said it my, myself in the past, so I'll rebuke myself along with everybody else out there. And that is, the day will come when they'll take away our Bibles. And we'll have to know things, and you just kind of prepare yourself for that day when the, when the government will outlaw the Bible. And we'll just kind of go along with it because there'll be no choice. Um, no. Oh, they're going to make my Bible illegal. Whatever. I'm going to hide it. I'm not going to give in my Bibles. Are you kidding me? Uh, let's not have this defeated attitude. Um, oh, brother, they're, they're going to ban the Bible now. The New Testament's going to be illegal. Your ministry's not going to be allowed to exist. Oh, I don't think so. Well, what are you going to do when they come to confiscate your Bible? Not giving it in. Just that simple. Um, this is all my land out here. I have plenty of places to hide things. Uh, and, you know, um, again, rulers are not a terror to... Uh, good works but to the evil dog just went to the bathroom I was having looked down make sure I didn't step in it <laughs> but um, rulers are not supposed to be a terror to the good but to the evil so they want to come along and they want to pass some kind of evil law that stipulates that I can't have a bible anymore uh, no I'm not following it Oh, uh, your Bible's hate speech now, and we have to be able to, you know, you have to turn it in or whatever so you don't hurt some pervert's feelings or some Christ-rejecting Jew's feelings. Nah, that's okay. Um, my ancestors, uh, we're fighters. Uh, we're not, we don't give in. And I will not be passive when this whole... Um, when people start to try to come after my God-given unalienable rights. And I suggest the same for you, my viewers out there. Don't give in to them. Uh, don't you know, get this thing out of your, your mind and out of your vocabulary about, well, someday if they come for our Bible, you know, well, then we'll have to remember what it was or something. No, they're not coming for my Bible. They're not taking my Bible. So that's going to be it. We'll see you in the next video.